Hey everybody, Brian here, Mr. B's Fix It. Today we're on a little bit of an adventure. That adventure includes me right now in my plow truck going to recover another vehicle that's managed to find its way off the road. Let's have a look. So as we approach, we're going down this little dip in the road. Of course, temperature drops a little bit when you get down in these places. And on the left-hand side here, this is a guardrail. And you see those marks in the snow? That's where the vehicle's gone off. Because essentially that was a ramp. So that's the vehicle we're going to try to get out today. It's gone over this guardrail, down through the road, made its own pathway. And it landed right between these trees. Lucky. All right. Getting closer. Plowing our way into it. So that there's the turn guardrail. And to give you an idea of how big of a drop that is off that bank, this is a road that we've plowed to go get this truck out of here. Down there's a river. So we've got it out now. And there we have it. So the driver says they were going 40 kilometers an hour. It's not fast. Speed limit in that area is actually 80, which is double that. And the truth of it is, I don't care if a person was speeding or not speeding or wasn't going fast, because uh, that's exactly what I heard. Well, it wasn't going fast. You were driving too fast for the conditions, no matter what. If at 40 kilometers an hour, you can slip on some ice, end up over a guardrail and down over a bank, then that was too fast, wasn't it? If at 20, you can do that, then that was too fast, wasn't it? So it doesn't really matter to me what the speed limit is or if you think you're going fast or not, you need to drive the conditions. Thanks for watching.